So how many of you are using or doing something with Gen AI? So raise your hand, yeah. So Gen AI is not a, some tech buzzword that probably you are, see that, that, that's the good thing and that's what we are looking for and we are going to talk more about some real life examples and, and kind of clarify that this is not just some new tech buzzword, it's more real and, and companies are trying it, doing it. I won't say that, that, um, that there are products that is approved by FDA yet, um, as of, I believe, two weeks back or three weeks back, they have not approved a single product with Gen AI. So none of those Gen AI products are approved, but we are seeing more uh, in, in other areas and we'll give some examples for quality and regulatory, how, how companies are using it. But before we get into the Gen AI, I wanted to make sure that, that we are not talking about other AI. Do you all know what other AI is? There's the traditional AI that all of us know about AI as a machine learning. And, 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 and so we will kind of briefly talk about what is the other AI, and then we go into the Gen AI part of it. So one thing I want to highlight is that, that the other AI, which is mostly deterministic AI, that's data-driven, that's very specific. You have to teach it for very specific things that I want to have this answer. And you have to make sure that, that you have all the data and it can digest the data, it can come up with the pattern. It's mostly algorithm-driven AI that, that typically we have been using it for the last 15, 20 years in different areas. Machine learning is very common and all that stuff. If you switch to the Gen AI part, that's, that's where the main opportunity starts coming up. I don't know, I mean, I have never heard of Gen AI it's less than a year. I don't know, have anyone heard about Gen AI? I mean, it, it was not a conversation before Chat GPT came and everyone started talking about Chat GPT and how to use Chat GPT. And that was maybe late last year. So less than a year, and I've never seen something like this coming up so fast in the business conversation. And then that, that's the opportunity for us to look at and explore as well. And, and we'll talk to Peter and Benny as well that how they are seeing in the, in the market and how they're using it. Um, so one thing I want to highlight is the other part of the, the Gen AI part. Usually we don't use Gen AI for very deterministic. If you have a very specific <laughs> data-driven question, Gen AI may not be the best solution. So when you're thinking of how to use Gen AI, think of not a very specific data-driven problem statement. It can write a novel for you, it can write a poem for you, it can write a, a story for you, it can write a document for you, but it may not be able to give you a very specific answer for a specific data-driven problem statement. Um, so that's the kind of you know, thinking when you're thinking of how to use it uh, keep in mind, and those are the examples that we'll talk about. So what we did was um, we put together a few ideas for you to explore, uh, and probably you'll have the deck. You can try these things. Our goal is to give you some examples, and we'll go through some of these details as well. Uh, that way you can go and experiment. And the, the good thing is that experimentation is very easy. You, can, you have a chat GPT, you can try it out. It's free and there's a paid version as well that you can get through Microsoft. One thing I want to highlight is, and, and you can try it on your own. And I was very curious about this as well. I started playing with this and he started asking some questions that probably uh, a regulatory expert may or may not know. And it was giving fairly good answers. So I asked, are you trained on 21 CFR 20? The response was no, but I know. So the response was that, no, I'm not a legal, uh, legal advisor. You have, to consult, uh, you have to consult with a legal advisor, but yes, I'm aware of 820. You can ask very specific thing about in the, the 4.0 model, and it will tell you those responses. So I was impressed with the, there's a concept of foundational model for, for open AI or for large language models. The intent is, the foundational models are trained on basic knowledge. 
you can define whatever the basic knowledge is. And that's the beauty of these gen AI based models compared to the traditional AI. Traditional AIs are, you are training it. In this case, you are getting a foundational model that has basic understanding. Um, and these models are evolving. So they're trained on a lot of things, and I don't know how many things they're trained on. They're constantly updating the model, and that's the starting point for you. So you, I don't have to start with what is 21 CFR, all the different regs. It is probably trained on that. Now I can get into very specific things, and it can give me an answer. 